Hey everybody, I'm Stan and today I will show you our newest feature, the Coherent UI Menu Kit. Uh, essentially, it will create a menu for you with just a few simple settings. I'll start with the coherent with the whole coherent UI sample, which is very very simple, and that's what we need for the menu scene. Um, so I'll just turn it. You can see it now. Um, I will use the uh, web page that comes with the kit. It is uh, in UI resources menu menu HTML and now you can see that it's just an empty page with current wops now I'll add the current UI menu script that does pretty much all of the job this is it uh, it requires the view that will be used to display the menu and I'll just drag it from let's say here okay uh, now I want uh, three buttons for my menu and I'll change the button size to 3 you can see element 0, 1 and 2 uh, the first button I will call uh, new game the second will be options and the third one will be quit let's see now alright now we have a very simple menu with three buttons now we would like to have input on it because we can't click the buttons there is a very simple script uh, called initialize input that uh, it just uh, enables the input for a view and it will take the view specified here and enable its input let's see now okay now you can see that we can hover the menu buttons and we can click it nothing happens So there are a few options for each button. Uh, the first one is the label, which sets the button name on screen. The the second option is disabled. It uh, what it does is actually it's uh, it makes the button great or not, depending if it's set or not. Uh, let's say we will have the options button grayed out so the user will be not able to click it and when we play we can see that it's, it's not blue like the others, it's grayed out now uh, the, the next thing, uh, the next property of the button is uh, click and this uh, it's all about what will happen when the button is clicked it's the essentially the callback that will happen when the button is clicked um, the easiest way to do this to attach callbacks is to create a new script that will be called for example menu buttons 
and okay and now here we will place uh, the functions that will be used when and the start and quit buttons are clicked I want uh, void on start clicked and uh, I'll just use uh, debug walk as a placeholder you, you would probably want to load your next scene or quit the game Okay, and now I want uh, the callback for quit button. Call on quit button. Clicked. And the uh, debug string will say quit game. Now we want to add these methods uh, to be used when the start and the quit buttons are clicked this is done by um, in the click section of the button the name we need the name of the function that is to be called in our case it's on start clicked on start clicked and uh, the other one is on quit button clicked quit button clicked if you click this button, the the script, the menu script will work for uh, this method, this function, in all of the scripts that are attached to the view. And uh, essentially, it's very easy to bind callbacks to buttons. There is another way to add callbacks, which is to specify the target script here uh, and to select the method you want to use but uh, it's harder than this one so now I want this to be message as well and now we have to add the menu buttons menu, yeah menu buttons script to the main camera as a component Now we need this because uh, these callbacks are located in here and since they are messages the coherent UI menu script will look for methods for these methods in every component located in the main camera. Okay, I'm going to play it now. And now we have the menu and we can see in the console that we are receiving the debug clock messages start and quit game this was the coherent UI menu kit tutorial stay tuned for more